Good morning, students. Here, yeah, Mrs. Nilam Jain from S K M Public School. Students, I am going to teach you here yeah, chapter number seven. That is congruence of triangles. In my previous videos, I have taught you all the congruence criteria. SSS rule, SAS rule, ASC rule, and RHS rule. So, based on those criteria, you will solve your exercise seven point two. Question number five and six. So, our topic for today is congruence of triangles. Congruence of triangles. Chapter number seven. Same topic. Congruence of triangles. Subject math. Congruence of triangles. So exercise 7.2, please open your books also, NCRD. Exercise 7.2, question number 5, okay? So what is the question here? Students, you are given here two triangles, the shapes of two triangles. Triangle RAT and triangle WAO and in the figure the two triangles are congruent, the corresponding parts are marked and uh, in the Triangles, the corresponding parts are marked. Uh, can we write triangle RAT is equal to or is congruent to? Yes. You are given here two triangles RAT and WON. Okay. So here you are given AT. Here this uh, this dash is for mark for AT. AT segment that is equal to ON. This is AT is equal to ON. This is given to us. Then AR. AR is equal to AR is equal to WO. AR is equal to W O and one of the angle is also given angle A R T that is equal to angle W O N here angle R is equal to angle A R T is equal to angle W O N W O N So this is angle O angle A R T is equal to angle W O N here this is angle R and one symbol of and angle R that is angle O and angle A that is equal to angle W, angle T is equal to angle N. Here this symbol is for here this is marked for congruent parts. Congruent parts. Okay. So sign A T is equal to O N. And AR, AR is equal to, AR is equal to W, O, W, O, AT, ON, AT and AR. Angle A is being formed here. So what we can con so here angle R A T R A T this is equal to angle W O N that is equal to angle W O N 
okay means first of all these are interior side at and ar and between these two sides this angle is being formed okay at that is equal to on and ar ar this side that is congruent to this side o w o w o and th between these two interior side this angle is being formed this angle is being formed angle what w o n and between these two interior sides angle r a t this angle is being formed so this is also given in the figure this is also given in the figure so what we conclude ki by s a s congruence criteria the triangles which triangles here triangles r a t is congruent to triangle w o n is congruent to triangle w o n so which criteria of congruence is here s a s okay this side a r and this a t and these two between these two interior side this angle a is being formed angle r a t and here between these two sides w o and o and this angle is being formed so side angle side o n side w o angle w o n and side o n so by s a s congruence criteria the triangles are congruent here similarly next question is question number 6 look at the figures first of all very carefully and you will draw these figures of both of uh, these figures in your notebook with scale and pencil and look at the here the sides and the angles which are given so in triangle b c a this is b c a and triangle b t a in this figure there are two triangles being formed in this single figure there are two triangles triangle b c a and triangle b t a okay b c a and b t a so what are the congruent parts here being formed yes what are the congruent parts here this symbol is given one symbol is mean is t a is equal to this again one symbol t a is equal to a c t a is equal to a c then these two lines will denote corresponding part of bt bt side is bc it is bc so bt there are also two symbols this bt is equal to bc bt is equal to bc then then what is the another part here you are given here two triangles bc is equal to bt ac is equal to at and ac here uh, ab that is ab is equal to ab that is common this ab or ba this side is common in both of the triangles so ab is equal to ab so this is given is at or ta is equal to ac this is given in the figure bt is equal to bc this is also given and ab is equal to ab that is common you see if ab is equal to ab this is the common side of of two of the triangles triangles bca and triangle bta okay so which uh, congruence criteria is here uh, here 
the corresponding three sides are equal to each other. So here the congruence criteria will be by S S S congruence condition. So triangle B C A and triangle B T A are congruent. Triangle B C A is congruent to triangle B T A. Okay. And for question number eight, here. You can look at the figure. Question number eight. If triangle ABC, question number nine. Sorry, it is it is nine. If triangle ABC and PQ are to be congruent, name one additional pair of the corresponding parts. What criteria did you use in both of the triangle ABC and triangle PQR? Look at the both of the triangles. Here, two angles, angle B and angle C of triangle ABC are respectively equal to the two angles, angle Q. Angle B is equal to angle Q, and angle C is equal to angle R. Okay. So, here, which criteria will be used? BC is equal to RQ. BC is equal to RQ. And criteria of congruence will be by A S A. One included side and two of the angles. So by A S A congruence rule, the triangles will be congruent. Triangles will be congruent. So let's draw these two of the triangles first of all. You can take screenshot. You can take screenshot of solution five and six and copy the figures from your book NCERT. Okay. So here two triangles are A, B, C. A, B, and C. And other triangle, it is in this way. Solution number nine, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. PQR. So this is this angle B, 90 degree, is equal to angle Q. That is also 90 degree. This symbol is what? 90 degree angle. And Angle R is equal to angle C. This angle C is equal to angle R. And here two angles are being formed and this side BC is involved in the other side. And here two angles are being formed and this QR, this is the included side QR. Okay? So here we can say that this symbol is for 90 degree angle. This symbol is also for 90 degree angle. Okay. So here angle B in triangle 
in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Angle B is equal to angle Q that is 90 degree. Other angle is angle C is equal to angle R. Angle C is equal to angle R. And included side is what? Included side. Or you can write first included side first of all. Uh, after angle side. Okay. Take side. That is BC. This BC is equal to here. This side included. Between these two angles. Between these two angles. This is the included side. So BC is equal to R. Q and one of the other angle, angle C is equal to angle R. So here, angle side angle by ASA criteria of congruence by ASA criteria of congruence. What do we say? We can say the triangle. We can see the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Okay? Look at the angle. So, let's put it at the angle. These two angles and this is the included side here. And these are two angles. And this is the included side. So, A as side A. Angle. Angle, side, angle. So, these two triangles by ASA criteria of congruence both of the triangles will be congruent both of the triangles will be congruent okay so the last question here of this exercise explain why triangle abc and is congruent to triangle fed again you will do this yourself this question Here, two uh, third sides, uh, third angle of the third angles of the triangle, two angles and included side is again here. So, based on this question, you can do question number ten also. Okay. Try to look at the angles, look at the corresponding sides and uh, included side between the uh, two angles or. Included angle between the two sides. Accordingly, you will conclude which type of congruence criteria will be followed in those particular problems. Okay. So, till then, stay alert, stay healthy, mask yourself, take proper care. Thank you and try to complete your work on time. Okay. Don't make your work pending. Very soon there will be midterm. And in that uh, syllabus will be from chapter 1 to whatever is being taught till now. Okay. So don't make your work pending. If your work is pending, do on time. Thank you. Stay blessed. Thank you.